What's up Libra? Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing your monthly reading for January 2020. So if you're a subscriber, you probably have noticed that I'm experiencing with my channel. I am experimenting and I'm seeing what is up with different scenarios in my new apartment. So I beg you for patience and let's just see what area is the best and what um, kind of like setting because some of them are with the cards and you get to see the cards better and others are like facing the camera and I'm just, you know, experimenting. Anyway, guys, let's see what energies are available for you, my beautiful Libras. Today I'm going to be using this gorgeous tarot, the Light Sears Tarot. I'm going to link it below for you guys. And I'm also going to use this one, which I'm in love with. Look at this beauty. I can't even... It's a black and gold edition of the Rider Waite. <clears throat> Universe, please bring in the most relevant messages for Libra. January... 2020 this is the first reading of the decade guys let's see what's up <clears throat> starting with the ace of swords so this is definitely a time for revelations this is a time for important ideas to come to your mind this is a, a time for rejuvenation of your mind space of your thoughts those limiting beliefs that were holding you back there's no space for them anymore. In this new year, there's only truth. There's space for truth. There's space for high vibrational thoughts, expansion. There's space for that new version of you. There is space for all the goodness. But there's no space anymore for those things that were just <clears throat> keeping you small, keeping you hurt. What I'm hearing. Page of Pentacles as the main situation as well. So this month, guys, you could be very well placing the intentions for the rest of the year. Placing kind of like planting the seeds for the rest of the year, seeing very clearly what is it exactly that you want to manifest. Probably like thinking about it dreaming about it, um, getting very clear on the map to get there, the step-by-step -step process that you need to take, knowing always that the universe can totally ditch that plan and bring, it, bring your manifestations towards you way faster, but knowing that if it were for you, um, this is the plan that you would follow, this is a step-to-step -step guide that you would follow. The Page of Pentacles um, also means that some of you guys could be either dealing with an Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, but mostly I feel like maybe you are um, embodying a little bit of this young Earth energy. It's like you are this seed that has been planted at the beginning of the year and that is blooming into this new mindset, this new person. This new sense of greatness is what I'm getting. <clears throat> the energies feel really good, Libra, I do have to say. Also getting the Queen of Wands. And yeah, some of you guys traditionally could be dealing with a fire sign, but this is you. What I'm feeling is that this is you, 100%. You are excited. You are motivated, you are cheerful, and you want to experience the world. You want to experience yourself creatively, adventurously. You want to be this queen of wands and tap into the highest potential of who you are creatively. It's like you want to design the most beautiful and vibrant version of yourself and you want to enjoy the feeling of embodying that version of yourself this year. Some of you guys could be dealing with an Aries, a Leo, a Sag. But some of you guys are honestly just taking back your power this year. 
You are really... <laughs> it's kind of like... You're taking back your power. But you're doing it in such a light-hearted way. That others are not even aware of how serious this is. But you know. You are aware of, of how powerful the transformation inside of you has been. But since you're doing it with a smile on your face, um, maybe people are not as um, aware of how strong you're becoming and how serious you are about this new chapter in your life. What are the um, possible challenges, universe? Okay, so we got the eight. This is, these cards are stunning, guys, seriously. Um, the eight of pentacles. So there is a chance that amongst all of these super powerful energies, <laughs> Libra, you are going to have to find the time, find the way to anchor yourself down to your responsibilities. You're going to feel so excited about the new, so dreamy and so motivated and so inspirational and so fiery. To go after everything you want. But the universe is going to tell you, well, remember that you need to go through the step-by-step step step process of actually um, doing the rituals, doing the manifestations. If you look closely, that's exactly what she's doing. She's going through the candle magic. She got her herbs, her crystals. She's manifesting with the faces of the moon. But this traditionally is a card of hard work focused work this is a card of someone who is very um devoted to what they're doing and they're investing their time their energy their inspiration what they're doing so if this is a challenge card right now for you libra this means that maybe some of you guys are going to have a little bit of a hard time finding that connection to um actually sitting down and doing <laughs> what you need to do you may be um, a little bit, you know, uh, kind of like ungrounded, I would say. Another possible challenge could be the Three of Swords. I mean, that would be a challenge, right? The Three of Swords um, indicates when we're dealing with difficult emotions. Obviously, these are general readings. There's tons of Libra out there watching these videos, hopefully. <laughs> and this would represent something different for each and every one of you guys. But the Three of Swords often is associated with deep emotions of pain and suffering and feeling heartbroken and betrayed. Now, some Libras, you know if you're one of them, are still lingering and still holding a little bit of this energy. If you're one of them, then you know how it feels to continue to be in the process of healing this energy. If you're one of the Libras that is trying to heal and you have been trying to heal for a while and you're still you know, letting go of these emotions from situations from the past, you're very well aware that you can be happy and coexist with these emotions. And at the same time, they can be present and they can be, you know, difficult to digest sometimes. But at the same time, you can also be happy. And at the same time, you can also be in a process of healing. So some of you guys could be, you know, continuing with this healing process. Let's see what's up with the recent past. Woo, Ace of Cups. Yes, this is what I'm feeling very strongly for you guys. So in the recent past, I feel, I feel like this, is, this goes for the last little bit of 2019. You guys have had some kind of emotional awakening. Your heart chakra has awakened. Your love for yourself has awakened. Your love for life has awakened. It's like you are thirsty for bliss. And you're ready to have bliss and you're ready to enjoy everything so much more. 
It's like you're open to it now. And obviously the universe is going to come through and bring that to you. Because you are vibrating that energy. You are opening up to that energy. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Some of you guys, more specifically, are experiencing a new beginning in romantic love. Okay, so some of you guys, if you were maybe single, you guys um, started a new relationship recently. Maybe you started dating someone, getting to know someone, someone who feels very true, very real, very, very comfortable, very home. They, they feel kind of like home to you. But they also feel very exciting. It feels very thrilling for you at the same time. Some of you guys um, could be dealing with a Gemini. Some of, others of you guys could be guys could be dealing with another Libra. Um, but what I'm getting is that those of you who have recently started a new relationship, it's gonna get better and better, guys. It's gonna get better and better and better. I love it in your mind space what's up with your mind space Ooh, the four of wands so you're thinking in a very positive way about how to create your stability you're thinking very joyfully too like i'm getting a lot of joy i'm getting a lot of happiness i'm getting a lot of spontaneity and fun but it's in that fun is kind of like infusing responsible thoughts of stability and planning and the future and like actual um structured dreaming <laughs> if there's such a thing but they're all infused by a lot of fun which is something that i don't see often it's not like like okay let's get serious and let's put in all of this hard work it's actually more like let's enjoy our way towards a more stable future. Let's enjoy the process of manifestation. Let's basically enjoy every bit of it, is <laughs> what I'm getting. What else is in your mind, Libra, in your mind space? Some of you guys could be thinking marriage. Some of you guys could be thinking about communicating with someone important maybe long distance some of you guys could be communicating with someone through the internet online dating some of you guys could be internet stalking someone <laughs> spying on someone others of you could be thinking about an air sign could be a gemini like i like i mentioned or another libra it could also be an aquarius for others of you, it could even be someone who looks like the person in this picture. Remember, there's tons of you, and each one of you have a different storyline. Some of you guys are thinking about studies. You're starting a new cycle in studies in January, perhaps. So what's coming, universe? What's coming for Libra? Tell us about the future for Libra. You got your card, justice. So definitely justice will be served for you. You are going to continue to be in a very just, balanced, strong space. You're gonna be continuing to be in your own energy because this is your card. You're going to be um, very basically safe, grounded. Universe will continue to protect you and make sure that you do, you get everything that you need, everything that you deserve. Universe, what else is coming for Libra? Tell us about health. Tell us about money. Tell us about love. What else is coming for Libra? Whoa, way, way, way too many cards. What just happened? Okay, so I got a little, um, I'm going to show you guys. I have a little thing for my cards. 
and literally all of the cards that I was shuffling flew into different <laughs> sections. <laughs> all of these are like my card collection. So I have them all kind of like arranged here and you can see that these flew all over, which is nuts. One day I'm gonna film a video and show you my card collection. <laughs> But let's just get back to your future, Libra. I feel like, honestly, like half the deck flew into all of the different sections of the little thing. Well, look, of, look at them later, I guess. Libra. <laughs> future for Libra universe, please. Bring us like one or two cards, not like 50. Okay, Knight of Swords. So yeah, definitely some of you guys are dealing with another AR sign for sure. And that person is coming up in the future for you. So if there's any need for balancing with this person, justice will be served. Is there, if there's any concern about, um, or some of you guys wondering if, there's, if this person is going to continue to be in your life as a romantic interest, it seems like it. It seems like it. Things could be even moving quite quickly. Lots of abundance, happiness, a luxurious lifestyle, abundance, prosperity, lots of comfort. <laughs> Seeing you um, with the Knight of Pentacles here, Libra, you're going to be basically taken care of. In the physical world, in the material world, you are more than good to go. Look at you. You are happy. You are experiencing a lot of the rewards of your efforts. And you're enjoying every bit of them. What else is coming for Libra? What else is coming for Libra? We got the Ten of Swords. So the Ten of Swords is a card of chapters that close up. Chapters that are in a point of no return. Basically, this is a card that brings so much to me. Like The Ten of Swords to me is kind of like hitting rock bottom in a certain area of life. It's like reaching a point in which there's no way to go back. And I know it sounds kind of harsh and sometimes we take it as something negative. But usually from those, there's a quote that um, the author of Harry Potter always says, rock bottom became the solid foundation in which I built, I built the rest of my life. And, or something like that. <laughs> and this card here, I'm going to get a clarifier to see if the universe is trying to, you know, bring another message through it. I feel like right now, this is more about perspective than anything, paired up with the Five of Cups. Libra, you have had your rock bottom moments. You have had your deep, dark nights of the soul you have had your transformations you have gone into deep sorrow with the three of swords here too you're no stranger to pain you're no stranger either to the wisdom that comes out of that pain it would be a disservice and a lie to say that libra is um, unaware of how healing pain can be and how, how much evolution can come from pain. You are mature that way. You know that pain and suffering and pressure and things that we don't necessarily love can bring in the biggest, most powerful transformations. But there's a part of you, Libra, that knows this and there's the part of you that would rather live 
a problem-free, completely harmonious life. And there's a part of your ego mind or a part of your persona who still thinks that difficulty could be a reflection of failure. That if you experience difficulty, that means that something's wrong. That if the universe is bringing difficulty, that means that you're being punished. And that's where you need to recalibrate and stop thinking from your human mind, which is extremely limited, and start thinking or connecting with your higher awareness. Kind of like transcending duality and understanding that nothing is good or bad. Every single thing is necessary. Okay, so everything that you feel is negative or difficult or harsh, you need to start seeing it really as a blessing and a gateway for your growth. If you continue to see it as a punishment or as an inconvenience, it's like you yourself are um, sort of like bringing in all of this super negative energy of judgment over the arena that the universe is bringing to you for your growth. It's like you are condemning the growth and the evolution that the universe is sponsoring for you as something bad and horrible. And you're kind of like making that energy the strongest energy. And that the only thing that's going to do is really make you go crazy um, thinking and kind of like affirming that you are in a bad space when you're not. Life can be extremely hard. Astrology and lessons in astrology and lessons from the planets can be extremely hard. But that doesn't mean that they're not extremely necessary or extremely beautiful or extremely useful. You know what I mean? So the sooner you make peace with that and understand that Ups and downs, highs and lows, they're all sacred, the better. The sooner that you realize that, and the sooner that you tap into that energy easily and shift from the victim consciousness into the gratitude consciousness, the better. It's not happening to you, it's happening for you. Let's see what's up with this gorgeous deck. Can you, I mean, I can't even look at this. Look at this. <laughs> it's a black and gold edition. It's by Los Carabeo. It's like, I don't even want to use them. I just want to like look at them. <laughs> Let's just pull some cards here. Ooh, we got also here the nine of pentacles. You already got this card. Abundance, luxury, comfort. Having everything that you need in the material world to be comfortable, happy, all of the resources that you may need, you have, okay? No worries there, no worries about money. Whoa, cards are flying out of control today. Six of cups. You could be connecting with a soulmate, this person in your life. This person that you are connecting to could be a soulmate, could be a past life lover. Could be an air sign. <laughs> Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Very consistent messages, guys. I know that they may not resonate with everybody. Just because they're consistent doesn't mean that they're, you know, resonating with every single one. Ooh. Beautiful. You've got the star card here. Wishes that come true. Blessings from the universe, prayers that are being heard and answered for you, Libra. This makes me extremely happy. You guys are good to go in January. You're good. Then we got the Knight of Pentacles. 
before moving forward, before choosing um, where to move on to next, it's okay to take pause, it's okay to strategize, it's okay to go slow if you want. Some of you guys could be definitely dealing with a Capricorn Virgo Taurus. But also be patient with your manifestations. You can take your time in deciding what it is. What are the seeds that you're wishing to plant? Remember that we talked about that at the beginning of the reading? You can take time as you decide what it is that you want. Whew, the lovers again. Again. You got the star. You got the lovers. My goodness, Libra, what a beautiful, beautiful reading. I think I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> I'm going to leave it on a high note. I'm going to send you all my love, Libra. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for being here. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I would love to have you here. So please go ahead and click on that subscribe button right now. And I'll see you very, very soon. Bye, my lovelies.